Is the North American housing market on the brink of a crash? This question is on the lips of everyone from seasoned real estate investors to first-time home buyers. To answer it, we first need to dive into the current state of affairs in the North American housing market. Let's start with the elephant in the room, housing prices. We're seeing home prices that are skyrocketing at a pace that's not been seen for several decades. In some areas, they've shot up by an astonishing double-digit percentage in just the past year. This has led to a frenzy of buying activity as people scramble to get on the property ladder before prices climb even higher. Yet while demand is high, supply is another story. An underwhelming amount of inventory is available on the market. This shortage of homes for sale is further fueling the upward pressure on prices. It's a classic case of the laws of supply and demand at play. Now when we see prices rising rapidly in a short period coupled with high demand and low supply, it's not unreasonable to ask whether we're in a housing bubble. After all, a bubble is characterized by unsustainable levels of price growth, fueled by speculation rather than fundamental economic factors. And if we are in a bubble, the fear is that it could burst, leading to a crash in housing prices. But what would a crash mean? Well, on the one hand, it could make homes more affordable for those currently priced out of the market. On the other hand, it could lead to a wave of foreclosures as homeowners find themselves unable to keep up with their mortgage payments. The ripple effects of a housing crash could then spread to the broader economy, potentially sparking a recession. So, are we headed for a crash? The truth is, it's hard to say. Different experts have different views. Some warn of a bubble about to burst, while others argue that the fundamentals of the housing market remain strong. But is this the same story across all of North America? We'll delve into the specifics of the American, Canadian, and Mexican housing markets in the scenes to come. Stay tuned. Diving into the United States, the situation seems quite daunting. The American housing market, historically a bastion of stability, has been behaving in a way that's been raising eyebrows. From the East Coast to the West Coast, housing prices have been soaring to dizzying heights. In some areas, the median home price has doubled or even tripled in less than a decade. The pandemic has escalated this trend even further. With many people working from home and seeking larger living spaces, demand for houses has skyrocketed. At the same time, supply has been crimped by lockdowns and social distancing measures, leading to a severe imbalance. This imbalance has turned the market into a bidding war, pushing prices up further. But who's fueling this war? It's not just aspiring homeowners. Investors, both domestic and international, have been swooping in, drawn by the tantalizing prospect of high returns. They're buying up properties left and right, often in cash, and driving prices up even more. This brings us to a crucial question. Is this a bubble? Are we headed for a crash like the one in 2008? The parallels are indeed striking, but there are also key differences. The lending standards are much stricter now, and the banks are in a healthier financial state. This could mean that a potential crash might be less severe than the last one. However, the implications of a crash, no matter how severe, are serious. Millions of people could lose their homes, the economy could be thrown into a recession, the ripple effects could be felt far and wide. We must also consider the social implications. The soaring prices are making home ownership an unattainable dream for many. This could lead to a widening wealth gap and increasing social inequality. In conclusion, the American housing market is walking a tightrope. On one hand, the booming prices are a boon for homeowners and investors. On the other hand, they're a curse for potential buyers and a potential risk for the economy. However, the situation is not the same everywhere in North America. Let's head north. Crossing the border into Canada, the housing market paints a different picture. The Canadian housing market, unlike its American counterpart, has been characterized by a steady rise in prices, particularly in urban areas like Toronto and Vancouver. This steady increase is partly due to the influence of foreign investors. Canadian real estate has become an attractive investment for overseas buyers, particularly from Asia. These investors see Canadian property as a safe place to park their money, driving up demand and, in turn, prices. The influx of foreign investment has led to a boom in luxury housing, but it's also put pressure on the affordability of homes for everyday Canadians. The Canadian government has attempted to regulate the market to ensure stability and affordability. It has introduced measures such as stricter mortgage rules and taxes on foreign buyers. However, these measures have had mixed results. 
Some argue they've cooled the market, while others suggest they've merely slowed the pace of growth. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Is the Canadian housing market in a bubble? Some experts suggest that the relentless rise in prices coupled with high levels of household debt could be a sign of a bubble. If this bubble were to burst, the effects could be significant. A crash in the housing market could lead to a broader economic downturn, impacting jobs, consumer spending, and overall economic health. However, it's important to note that predicting a housing market crash is no easy task. Many factors influence the housing market, and while there are signs of potential risk, there's also evidence of underlying strength. The demand for housing in Canada's growing cities remains strong, and the country's stable political and economic climate continues to attract investors. The situation is also unique in the South. Let's take a look. Venturing into Mexico, the housing market poses its own set of challenges. Unlike its North American counterparts, Mexico faces a significant affordable housing crisis. The majority of the population struggles to afford decent housing, a situation exacerbated by a surge in housing prices over the last few years. Foreign investors play a significant role in the Mexican market. They are attracted by the country's rich cultural heritage, the scenic beauty, and the prospect of high returns. However, this influx of foreign investment has led to a rise in housing prices, pushing home ownership out of reach for many local residents. The Mexican government, fully aware of this issue, has taken steps to balance supply and demand. They've implemented policies aimed at increasing the supply of affordable housing, such as providing subsidies for low-income families and encouraging the development of low-cost housing projects. Yet, the challenge remains substantial. Mexico's housing market is characterized by a high level of informality, with a significant proportion of the population living in informal settlements. This poses a challenge to the stability of the housing market, as it can lead to a lack of regulation and potential exploitation of vulnerable populations. So, what about the potential for a crash in the Mexican housing market? As with any market, it's difficult to predict with certainty. However, given the current challenges, there are certainly risks. A sharp decline in foreign investment, for example, could trigger a downturn. On the other hand, if the government's efforts to increase affordable housing prove successful, this could stimulate the market and offset potential risks. In conclusion, the Mexican housing market is complex and influenced by a range of factors. From foreign investment to government policies and the affordable housing crisis, it's a market that requires careful navigation but also presents opportunities for those willing to understand its intricacies. Each country in North America faces its own unique set of circumstances. Mexico's housing market with its challenges and opportunities is no exception. So what does this all mean for the stability of the North American housing market? Let's bring it all together now. As we've explored, each country in North America, the United States, Canada, and Mexico presents a unique perspective on the housing market. In the United States, we've seen a surge in demand driven by low mortgage rates and a shift towards remote work. This, coupled with a limited supply, has led to skyrocketing prices, creating concerns of a bubble that could potentially burst. However, experts believe that the fundamentals are strong, and while a slowdown is expected, a full-blown crash is less likely. Moving north, Canada's housing market has also been on a tear, with prices soaring in major cities like Toronto and Vancouver. The market here is grappling with issues of affordability fueled by low interest rates and a lack of housing supply. While some fear a housing crash, others argue that strong immigration and a robust economy will keep the market afloat. Down south, Mexico's housing market paints a different picture. It has been relatively stable, with modest price increases. The main concern here is the disparity between urban and rural housing markets and the need for affordable housing. So, what would a crash mean for North America as a whole? A housing crash in any of these countries could have ripple effects across the continent. It could lead to job losses, decreased consumer spending, and overall economic downturn. However, it's important to remember that these markets are influenced by a multitude of factors, and predicting exact outcomes is no easy task. As we venture into the future, it's clear that the North American housing market is as diverse as the continent itself. It's a complex, ever-changing landscape shaped by everything from economic policy to demographic trends to technological innovations. Remember, the housing market is complex and ever-changing, 
stay informed and make decisions wisely. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Caffeinated Money for more insights.